Okay, I'm going to uh, walk you through setting up the SOS Splashtop client on your computer so that you can allow someone else, an IT specialist or support specialist, to remotely connect into your Mac computer. So the OS that we're using on this one is Big Sur, it's OS 11. But this will work for 10, 15, 11, 12, shouldn't be any different. So basically you're probably going to have received the link from your support specialist via email or uh, text message or something like that. And uh, if you click on it, it'll take you to Safari, but we'll just go there directly. SOS. There we go. That's going to be the link. So the first thing it's going to want to do is it's going to uh, ask you if you're using Safari, of course, uh, to allow that download to happen. So say yes. So right now it's in our downloads folder. We're going to open that disk image. That's actually the program there. But what we want to do is um, we don't want to run it from the image. We want to actually have it uh, in our applications folder, really. So here's applications, and we'll just take that and drag it over. Okay, so once it's in place, um, you're going to run the program. You can say open that. All right. Now, this code here, the nine-digit code, is the code that you will give to your IT specialist or support specialist to allow them to connect in. However, they can't get in right away because of the extra security in uh, Mac OS. So we kind of have to allow this program to be able to, uh, uh, to allow someone from outside to get in. And in order to do that, we need to uh, go into the system preferences and make some changes. So, really just sort of telling you what you're going to be doing. Say OK to that. And this is going to tell us here what to do. We really want to do these in order. And uh, we're going to grant permissions to these three areas within the security permissions. So basically we're going to go by pressing allow it's going to open up system preferences for us specifically to the security and privacy in order to make this work we need to click on the lock in the lower left corner here before we do anything we won't be able to make any changes until we do so I'm clicking here uh, this is really just a test system username is user and uh, I'll put in the password for this password you're going to use here is the same password you would use to log into your account when you first start your computer up. Okay. Once you authenticate, this becomes open and it allows you then to check that, allowing for that capability. Now if we go back to the screen, we'll see that that has been allowed. I'm going to go to the next one. It's actually asking us which one to open. Again, that screen recording. That's fine. We're going to say later, initially, it wants to restart in order to uh, be able to provide that service, that capability. And we're doing it later because we're not done yet. And the last one we're going to do is full disk access here. And there it is, not checked. We're going to check it. 
Now we can say quit and reopen. We're really done here. So I'm going to get rid of the system preference. Splashtop has relaunched. It's given us a different number. So I've got the, uh, the program over here, and I'm going to punch in the number. being controlled now from a separate computer that would represent the support specialist or IT specialist. And that's pretty much it. As soon as they're in, they're able to open applications, make changes, and uh, control the computer. All right. Okay, thank you for watching.